Last little trick is I'm going to add a photo filter over top of this and oh, there it actually is right now. I'll make this really intense. So yeah, it looks like I'm creating a monochromatic image, but I'm not. I'll leave it like this and now what I'll do is I'm going to fill this layer mask with black, use my brush tool, paint with white, and I'll paint with a pretty low opacity, let's say, you know, 9%, and I'll just add a little bit of highlight to make it seem like the sun, which is up here, is adding some nice texture and some nice rays into this area. Now check this out. We can then take the opacity of that whole layer down and then bring it up. I think that's looking kind of nice. Might bring that down to about 73%. That looks good. So let me merge that down. So that was Command E. Before, after, before, after. Well, I gotta say, it's starting to look pretty splendid. Uh, let me just duplicate this layer. I'd like to show you one more thing. You go to Adjustments, and there's a Shadow Highlight. Now, with the shadows, you can actually open up a lot of the shadows that exist. Right up there, we can expand that. So right up there we can expand that. And with the highlights, if we pull those down ever so slightly. Now since I did this on another layer, I'll hit OK. Let's look at the before and after. Hmm. Some areas of that look very good. So let's put a layer mask on here. And you know what? Let's fill that with black. Use the brush tool keep our opacity pretty low. I'm going to say about 20% and just go across this table once and twice. Let's go through here once and twice. Go through here once. And I'm not bringing my brush up. I'm just going to scrub through there, scrub through here. Uh, I'm not sure what it looks like in the sky. It's going to do anything. Let's turn that off and on. It's looking pretty good. I think in this spot I'll click a couple times. Click, 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 click. Find some high spots there. Click through there. I'm really liking that. I like what it did to the the snow on the table here. I think that looks very good. So let me go apply that layer mask. And if I turn it all off, just look, it's very subtle what we did. And the last one is I will merge that all up one more time. Let's get rid of those two layers right there. And let's see our before and after. Significantly different. And that's using lab color and a bunch of different features. Last thing is we have to do a crop. And you'll notice I have no values in my height, width, or my resolution. Let's crop the whole image. I'll drag in just a little bit. Get rid of that edge. I got a little bit of an edge right there. Oops, doesn't want to snap, so that's good enough right there. If you hold down the, let's see, the control key, it should not snap. There we go. And I'll hit enter. Oh, I got to do it again. If you can't see why, it's on this side out here. I'll hold the control key down and just right there. And we'll go Tab, Control-0, and there's our final image. Let's just bring up Before, After, Before, After. I think that looks pretty good. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and uh, all my best in you working on your own HDR images.